So when it comes to the little things, you'll believe in Hashem. But when it comes to the big things, you don't? We learn out from the Torah, from the Holy Scriptures of God's kindness. Rabbi Nachman reveals one of the main reasons why Hashem allowed for the world to be created was in order for Him to show His mercy, to be able to show and to be able to give His mercy to all of the creation. A person has to stop and they have to ask themselves, how merciful would it be if Hashem will put you here and allow you to go through all the troubles, all the anxieties, all the things that are stressing you out, all the hardships that you're going through in your life, and not to leave a lifeline for you to be able to pull yourself out of the lowest places. God is merciful. He would never do it. He would never leave us to dry. We say thank you to God, for He is good, and His goodness endures forever, forever, forever. Hashem will always be kind. So persons should never believe that no matter what, even when your back's against the wall, even when the doctor says there's no cure, even when they say there's no way for you to come out of the death, when there's no way for you to return, there's no way for you to bounce back, wherever the rest of the world says there's a hard line, Hashem says, believe in me. I can take you across that line. I am the one who created you. I am your father. I love you. I brought you into the world to bestow my mercy on you. There's never a time that I will leave you on the day that you call out to me, I will be there for you. The truth is that one of the main reasons why we're suffering is because we don't believe in Hashem. It's not the fact that we don't believe that He exists. We believe in Hashem sometimes when it comes to small things, when it comes to things that are manageable, things that are easy and within our reach and our mind that, oh yeah, Hashem will help me with that. But when it comes to big things, when my back's against the wall, when the doctors tell me there's no way that I could possibly help you, all hope is lost. Will you still trust in Hashem? Will you still believe in Hashem? Do you still think that His kindness and His mercy endures forever? Well, surely it does. The God you serve, the God that I serve, is an awesome God. There's no limitations to Hashem. Ani Hashem rofecha. I am Hashem. I am your doctor. I will heal you. No matter whether it's spiritually, mentally, emotionally, physically, Hashem is good for everything. So many people run around the world. They're looking for this one to help them over there. They're looking for that one to help them over there. When Hashem is the ultimate help. Hashem is the ultimate help and nobody else can replace Him. Nobody else can supersede Him. The real help to all of our problems is prayer. It's turning to God. As a famous expression is today, let go and let God. We don't need to be able to mentally grasp everything that's going on with us. Rather, we have to accept the fact that we won't understand everything. We won't be able to know exactly why Hashem is doing things the way that He's doing them. And there's a lot of people in whatever business there is that want to give you a guarantee. I don't know how well their guarantees are, but I can give you a guarantee. I can guarantee that if a person turns to Hashem, Hashem will be there for that person. Hashem wants to be there for us more than we could possibly want Him to be there for us. More than we want Him, Hashem wants us. We gotta have the Amunah. We gotta have the faith that Hashem will show up. So in short, I'm saying to you, pray, pray, and pray, and never give up.